I'm Jimmy Myers, head trainer of Tampa Bay Athletics, and I'm here today with InsideBaseball.com to go over what's called the box squat. For this box squat, it's going to be a regression to a normal squat. This is for someone who can't quite get down to normal depth without rounding the back, or if they just feel a little bit too tight in their hips and they just can't get down to that depth without feeling comfortable and standing back up out of it. So what we'll do, I'm going to grab a weight. Obviously the weight's going to be determined by your strength level and how long you've been doing this. Typically start off light and make sure your form is perfect before doing this. Perfect form would be our feet will be shoulder width apart. We can open those toes slightly if we need to. Our chest is nice and big. We have a big tall chest so our back stays nice and solid. Using a kettlebell, our arms are nice and tight to our body. We're going to make sure we drop down to the heels, breaking to the hip first. So we squat down, knees track over the toes. Once our butt hits that box, we check that our back is nice and solid, keeping ourselves under tension, drive our heels through the ground and make sure those knees keep tracking over the toes, stand back up. Once again, take your time down to that box, big chest, knees tracked over the toes, weight in the heels, nice strong back, we stand up squeezing your glutes or your butt and your hamstrings, drive those heels through the ground. This is a great exercise to build up to a regular squat. Once you can do this perfectly, progress to an actual squat with a barbell, a kettlebell, or dumbbells. This is a great exercise to build that lower half, which is huge for baseball players. Start off with just three sets, three by 10 would be perfect, and then just go ahead and make sure those are perfect. Once they're perfect, progress on to actual squats.